to penalize somebody, really have to, you really have to be sure that the action was deliberate. Otherwise, you penalize somebody, you can't take that back. Wendy from Canada, we agree with Mike Joy is doing a great job. How about that? That's his cousin in Canada. Mike I don't have any. I don't, know. I don't have up. Any. Yellow flag down. We have a caution. Mike Waltrip has gone into the wall at turn number one. And there's a car up against the wall in four. They seem well. to come Jimmy in pairs. Air Horton. Seems to come in pairs, doesn't it? That boy's had a hard time this year, I'm telling you. So Mike Walter brings out the caution in one, and almost simultaneously, Jimmy Horton got up against the wall in turn four, which prompts this question from Terry in Indiana. Has there been a race where there were more laps under caution than green? In 1952, Herb Thomas won a Winston Cup race at Wilson, North Carolina, an average 35 miles an hour. So you would guess they probably had more cautions than green laps that day. Records don't go back to 52 to indicate how many yellow laps there were. That took care of the mandatory caution right there. They won't have one now. I'm That's almost right. positive. The thing was concerned me. They were talking about doing it 454. They didn't make it to this point. You know, they didn't split it halfway. We lost one before we got here. Will they extend it and try to get it to a safe point? We'll see. This could be the most important pit stop of the day right here. Leader Ken Schrader, second place car Dale Jarrett, third place car Darrell Walter, but they came into the pit. Jarrett will get four tires. Jack Van runs around on Walter's car and on Schrader. They're going to have to be tough to beat Dale Jarrett. Here comes Walter out, and Walter did it. And Schrader comes out, and he'll be the leader. That was a disadvantage of being way up the pit road. Dale Jarrett actually had the fastest pit stop. Of course, he stopped later, too. That right. Yeah, but... Eight cars are on the lead lap. Terry Levani has called in. And the cornflakes got soggy. Uh-oh. Says the engine has gone soft, and he will have to nurse it home. He's had a great run here today. He is in sixth place right now. Has seven top ten finishes this year for Billy Hagan. But he will run it to the finish. His brother Bobby's in the top ten as well. He has four top ten finishes in his rookie season. And Bobby right now is posted on the lead lap, one of those top eight. We'll go down to Randy Pemberton. Well, we got ready to talk to Dale Renard. He's climbing in. I'll see if I can get a word We're going to have to sneak in. These guys are still really thrashing on this car. Dale, any words to say at all? What can you say? You know, you guy takes out all them race cars. Just got caught up in it. He's a little upset, understandably. Man, these guys have worked hard back here, guys. 47 minutes. They've been in the garage area, Randy. But he's got enough of a point lead, 284 points over Rusty Wallace. That this will not put a major dent in his lead. Jeff Purvis, Greg Sachs. Schrader's the leader. Jarrett is second, Walter third. Spencer fourth, Wallace is fifth. Sixth, Terry Labonte. Seventh, Terry Gann. Eighth, Bobby Labonte. Ninth is Morgan Shepard. And tenth is Sterling Marlin. 53 laps from declaring a winner at Dover Downs. We'll be right back.